then when I walked into the studio to see, and I went, I was in Jackson Pollock's studio, and I saw these drip paintings on the floor. Mm. Pollock at the time was working as a guard for what was called the Museum of Non-Objective Art. It was sponsored by the Guggenheim family. It, now it's called, we have the Guggenheim, the big Frank Lloyd Wright building in, in Manhattan. If you haven't seen it, well, well it, it drove the, the curators crazy, you know, because Wright, Wright was not a nice guy, and, and, and uh, he did beautiful drawings, but I would never let that guy design a, a museum for me. <laughs> Curved walls, you know, in, in, you know the, the, the round building, and, and, and the man who was director of the, of the Guggenheim quit finally because he couldn't get along with Wright. But the point is, um, uh, the Guggenheim family put the bill on that. And uh, they, um, uh, and, and, and of course, Peggy Guggenheim was married to Max Ernst. Now, is that a name that you know? You know, it, it's somehow, in, in all of this, if we can come to see artists and their art, you know, not as as names uh, to be dropped or remembered or on, a, on, a, on an exam or something, but as real people doing things that were very important in their lives. And then you realize how these people are all, they were connected. You know, in, in New York, these guys were all, you know, they, and, and, and I, I, I'll show you one, one other One of the most famous uh, photographs of all, and, and you, look, you look at this, you know, it, at the beginning, it's, it's autographed to me from Irving Sandler, because he was a friend of mine. To my my wife's name was Flora, so to Jerry and Flora. But but in the in the here, did any of you go to see the play uh, Red at the Goodman Theater? I don't know, <laughs> um, but um, I, I'm going to see another play, which was. Martin recommended it to me um, uh, 